what we have here is that technology is invisible. The point is that the teaching and the learning comes front and center and the technology is in the background. And what I mean by that is the clever boards are very easy to use. Uh, we, a teacher can turn it on and immediately use it or they can turn it off when they don't want to use it. It's, it's a very simple technology. Um, that means they don't need to have a lot of tech support to run the tools versus a projection, an interactive projector has a lot of setup. You have to do a synchronization setup. That's not the case with the Cleverboard. So that's an example of being invisible technology. The technology is in the background. The other example is with our gyms and in our canteen. And we have uh, a Cet Cetron, um, it's like this, this panel and it allows you to turn on the projector, turn on the sound, and you don't have to have, you don't have, to have AV skills. I'm not an AV tech, but I'm called on to, if people need help, I'm the one, or someone in our IT department will help set it up. But with a training of a few minutes, we can get anyone to use the system. Um, and so that's the game changer. Before, we would have to call on our uh, maintenance department to set up speakers, set up a projector, and it would take time away from their jobs. Now we don't do that. So that's the the clever board sort of, it, it doesn't say no to the analog world. It's allowing the analog world to become part of the digital world. So for example, we had that art class where we have a um, the overhead document camera documenting the analog function of learning how to do an art task, but it's presented on a digital board. Or we'll have um, marker boards on the side, so if a teacher is not 100% comfortable with using the clever board, they can use the marker board. There's, there's no rules saying that you have to use one technology over the other. There's the flexibility of using both. I think over time what you'll see is people will see the benefit of the technology and maybe they'll migrate, but there's no pressure to push people in that direction.